Okay, so this is my five minutes of fame, so let me change my attire really quickly because I'm one of the organizers, but right now I have to be a speaker, so... Let's do this one, okay. So, hello everyone again. Uh, my name is Salih Masaud and I will be talking about Customize. And talking about Customize, we have to talk about Kubernetes first because this is not 15 seconds, by the way. Five seconds? Five seconds? Each slide? What? It was 15. Five? I think it was 15 seconds. It was five? Really? I think the Ignite format was like 15 seconds for, Sorry. yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could try to do that, but I have to be like rap like Eminem or something. Do I know the format wrong? Is 15 seconds per slide, right? Yeah. Yeah, you are getting all the spoilers, all the inner jokes. So you can laugh when you see them. Sorry about that. No, that's okay. So 15, five minutes of fame again. So okay, as you can see, we, I'm talking about customize today, and I do stuff at Ranges. We have a boot over there. If you wanna have fun, we have some challenges over there with like Raspberry Pi. We give stuff away over there. So. Let's start. So in order to talk about customize, we have to talk about Kubernetes first because everybody knows Kubernetes, right? You, even if you don't use it, you probably heard about it. Your grandchildren, your grandparent knows about it right now. And how do you manage Kubernetes? Like you write YAMLs, right? You basically just write YAMLs. Kubernetes does everything for you. You just get paid to write YAML. You basically become like YAML engineers, right? Because that's your job. But when you started to write YAML, you realize writing and managing YAML actually sucks. I mean, sucks a little bit less than JSON, but YAML actually sucks as well. So when you have managing something sucks, you turn to open source because they solve the problems for you, right? Because open source means that somebody should develop this for me, for free, right? So in the community, you check the sources, you find Helm, like KSONET, like Capitan, all the sources, and when you check the stars, you realize the golden boy is the Helm, right? So because Helm has like templating, was chart selection, rollback support, dependency management, like that's some good stuff. I want to write them myself. So when you try to write it yourself, you get into some issues, like this shipwreck over there. Because you use Go templates, because there's too much logic in it, it's not actually declarative, you and also have a lot of issues with the tiller, which is also another Ignite topic itself. But the biggest issue is actually, if you want to use Helm and extend it for yourself, it's now your chart. You are not able to fork it, modify it, or rebase it, right? So when you, do some, when you pick something already existing, it's now yours if you want to add something about it. So Google approached this challenge with a tool called Customize. And so when you first use a product, actually when you look at a startup, you have need like a seller sentence, right? So in the next slide, I will just shut up about it and we will read it for 15 seconds. Ingest it in. So in order to use customize, you don't actually have to do anything if you use kubectl version greater or equal than 1.14. Before it was just like this. After 1.14, you just kubectl apply slash k, not f. So in order to use customize, you need to have a base first. And base is something that is the base of the customize, basically. So you refer to the bases and apply your actions over there. So when you use a base, you think about like how I'm going to manipulate it. You use overlays. Overlays actually uh, references bases and manipulates the bases with its own customization patches. So you might ask, how do I patch stuff in YAML? So you don't actually patch the YAML. You actually patch the rendered format of the JSON first. It's called the JSON patch format. Uh, and actually, we are back to JSON. But we are still managing YAML also as well. 
So you can just read the RFC. Using these powers, you get these actions. You can inject your own namespaces or suffixes or prefixes to your deployments. And this helps in like local developments or config maps in these situations. If you use customize, you can just keep the original file as it is and uh, just do your own releases with the customization patches. It will automatically edit it with regex, I guess. I don't know. I haven't read the source code. So also, when you use Kubernetes, you have your own secrets and config maps. In order, instead of writing them themselves, customization, customize will uh, fetch uh, the, the sources from different places and generate a custom file for you. And if you want to extend your Helm without uh, making it yourself, uh, you can use Helm templates and uh, apply the customized patches on the Helm templates so you don't have to write the basis for yourself if you want. So everything I learned about customize was from these links. If you want to learn about it more, you can just read the links over there. And actually, that's my Ignite. Yeah. You will see the thanks. And if you have any other questions about customized or Kubernetes stuff, you can find me over here. I will be the organizer right now.